Hello, it's Rebecca. I am in the printing room and I am doing some dry points. I've got one plate completed to about where I want it. Um, this is from this plate. So you, you can see it's a mirror image. Um, so I'm going to just fix it up a little bit more. It's not quite where I want it. Um, I use these tools. There's this one, which just makes a solid line. Very sharp at the top. So I got myself the other day. Oh! Uh, this one. Let's see if I can do this. Can you see it? Nope. Maybe the other one. Maybe this one you can see it. You can kind of see it. Maybe if I do one of those. The girls with their makeup brushes they always go like, here's this mash. I guess it kind of helps. Anyway. Um... And that's what I do to make these cross hatchings. So this one's the least dense. I use the medium dense one here. And then the most dense one I used like around here. Um Yeah, that's about it. I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna kinda clean this up a little bit and kind of <laughs> almost redo it kind of a little more chaotic than I want it to be. But, yeah. I have six plates that I'm going to do with this process. And then they'll kind of be able to be put together to make one big picture of a big old mountain. So I'm going to get started. Hopefully this is okay. So I'm just using some steel wool to take off some of the lines because they're a little too deep for what I want. Except for it's really scratchy. I don't like that. I'm used to working with regular wool, which is soft. 